Hello everyone, it is our reverse and welcome back to another episode of Knights and Dragons and today is day 8 of our interactive future frenzy. This is the future frenzy which you guys are in total control of what we're going to be fusing away for the upcoming days. Yesterday we fused away the Hydromancer's mantle alongside with the Wormshroud mantle and if you want to see what we got in that episode make sure to click the annotation on the screen right now or hit the link in the video description if you're on mobile. If you also uh, check the video description there's also a playlist of every single episode that I'm having of the Interactive Fusion Frenzy. If you missed out on any day, make sure you guys check that one out. And as always, you can also find a list of the legendaries that I'm currently having, so make sure you comment or upvote your favorite combination in the comment section down below. That being said, it is time for Fusion number 8 in this Frenzy. The feature comment of the day comes from um, a buddy of mine, Rise Lunatic, who actually asked me to do the Lilith's Mantle alongside with the Vesture of Hastur, which is the new epic boss. And uh, the epics available through this combination is actually uh, quite a bunch. First of all, Tectonic, once again, alongside with Arm of the Komodo, like in every single episode. Then we have the Arcane Mantle, Blazeborn Vanguard, our uh, Northerners Battle Gear, Centurion Aegis. We also got the uh, Forge Stone Aegis. We got the Moon Type Blade Mill. We got the Arbor Vanguard, and we got the Aquatic Battle Gear. So this is going to be really excited. I I think I actually forgot about one, but I'm not sure about this. You guys should check it out. Anyway, it's gonna be really funny if I actually get that epic, uh, if I've been forgetting it. So, um, Vesture of Hastur, where is the uh, regular version of the armor? Is it the regular version? Yes, it, this is the one. Level 35, I'm getting very excited, I'm getting very pumped to uh, use this one. And um, actually, I should do it in the right combination. So first of all, we're going to be doing the Lilith's Mantle, and then we're going to do the Vesture of Hastur. So here goes the first one. And there goes the second one, and we're going to be fusing it away right now. Here we go. I'm very excited. Three, two, one, boom. And we're going to be getting. What is this? Is this the um the river golem? River stew. Wow! I had no idea this one was fusible, guys. And that's pretty cool because right now we have a water mono. And I wasn't expecting to see this one around, but it's really cool that this one is fusible. It's actually a pretty recent uh, legendary. You guys see it in the screen right now from the Water Golem, and that's uh, pretty cool stuff there. And um, pretty cool stuff there. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be the fusion of today. We got the River Steel Ropes. I'm not too unhappy with that because it allows me to get more water combinations. So, as always, make sure to leave your favorite combination in the comment section down below. Upvote your favorite combination if you're already seeing. If you're already seeing it, that being said, I'm going to round this episode off here. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, make sure that if you guys like this video too, boom, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> this was I Reversal for Knights and Dragons. I'll be signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.